Have you ever been so thankful that the pandemic's almost over? I know I am. I know my hair is because I have a year and a half of not cutting it. But um, instead of just cutting it, I actually wanted to show you uh, the different hairstyles that you can have during a pandemic. This is gonna be fun. Um, we'll go through a, you know, different set of head hairstyles uh, and show you uh, just what you can do if ever another pandemic comes or if this one never goes away. Although if we live in this uh, kind of in the middle of a pandemic, we can still get our haircuts. But you never know, the world could end at any time. So you might have to do your own haircut. Let me start um, with the first haircut. All right, the first haircut, uh, I would like to call it the, don't do anything, just let it grow. You can actually get it with uh, curly hair like mine, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Very dry hair, but it's nice. This free takes a lot of maintenance, but no work at all when it comes to cutting it because you just let it grow. That's all you got to do. And I think uh, you can wear it with anything, it goes with anything, you know, like, yeah. Um, but, um, Let's just talk about the pandemic. Um, you know, uh, I'm thinking more like Armageddon style part pandemic where uh, like everybody's fighting for food and stuff. Uh, if you think of movies, people that have this hairstyle usually get killed uh, pretty soon. Who am I thinking? I don't know. Uh, I think if you watch any zombie movie, anybody that has like curly, lazy hair, um, I think they usually killed up first so do you want to have this mm, I mean if you just want to let it grow yeah but you never know what's gonna happen all right let's move to the next one all right next haircut the good old fro you might get confused with a pot head but is there gonna be pot at that time maybe and then uh, you can always have a comb, you don't have to put it in your pocket, you can just store it, bam, in your hair. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you know, just pick at it. Bam. Don't want to carry it. Hey. If again, if you take it to the movies, potheads or people with froze so usually also get killed really fast. Or in between the middle of the movie, I would say if it's a very popular pot, pothead guy. I don't know why I keep saying pothead, maybe I feel like smoking. But, you know, it's a nice style. Gives you a, a little bit of presence, a little bit of a, you know, character. I, I would say a lot of character. You can wear it with this or, or with something like this. You're a relaxed guy with a lot of presence. Why not? Now, let's move to the next hairstyle. Alright, the next one. Just slick back. Hmm? Hmm? Bradley Cooper, maybe? Bradley Cooper, when he never looked good right here. You know? Not even close. But, all you have to do is just keep it trimmed. Or, keep it untrimmed and just comb it back what you can wear it's a nice shirt like this or if you want to look a certain more boss way just add the jacket bam let's put it again into a movie perspective if you're looking for this hairstyle usually you're a boss you're a cool guy I'm gonna probably age my, myself here, but um, have you ever seen the movie Double Impact with uh, John claude Van Damme? Huh? The brother that's cool, his hair slick, mm. that guy's gonna survive. That guy's the <coughs> guy that kicks ass. This is the guy that kicks ass. He gives orders. <coughs> Alright, let's go to the fourth one. <laughs> I call this the crazy. Hmm? 
Right. You can have this if you go crazy. I mean, we're all gonna go crazy if we uh, would keep uh, locked down. So, we gotta bring the good old mushroom cut. Mushroom with hair falling off or thinning hair. You can either pour a bowl or you just like go around and you can get it pretty close to be not even that. If you got a friend, a crony friend, they can cut it for you too. If you're thinking um, about movies, I think uh, this would be a haircut for a bad guy. Yep, crazy bad guy, you know, like... <clears throat> I'm thinking uh, Book of Eli, the crazy guy, I think he has a mushroom cut. Uh, I'm also thinking um, Fantastic Beast, the first, and where to find him. Hmm? The bad guy, he has a mushroom cut and then he gets all crazy and kills all these people. I think he kills people. Hmm, I don't remember that movie. But, uh, uh, come on, this is a stylish Armageddon and of the world haircut. You gotta say yes. <sighs> Alright, the next one is the Frohawk. Mm -hmm. It's crooked. It's okay. I could be a crazy guy. Yeah, so I think with this haircut, um, you could be a tough guy, of course, most likely. You'll make it far. You'll probably be the second to last to die, but you will probably die a heroic death. For this one, you don't have to wear anything. Hmm? Bam. You're gonna be flabby, don't wear anything. Of course, if you have to work. Just wear a tight t-shirt. You're a badass, man. You're a badass. No worries. Doesn't matter what people say, all right? This is the last haircut. Clean cut. I think anybody would feel comfortable with this. Unless you like long hair. But this is very comfortable. Um, you'll last. Um, probably in the winter you'll be suffering compared to everybody else. Probably direct sunlight. Your scalp will burn. But I guess you'll be comfortable because you don't care about washing it. And then in Armageddon, there's probably not gonna be enough water, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, when this is the last haircut. So there's a bunch of things that we can learn from here. I'm gonna tell you the top three. One, you're beautiful no matter what. No matter what you do, remember, you are beautiful. Except for me, I mean, I can't really do much about it, but it's okay, you know. Two, thank you so much for all the uh, frontline workers. Again, thank you so much. Everybody that had to work while the quarantine, while everybody was working from home, everybody that, you know, saved lives, uh, put their life at risk by having to go to work with like groups. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Click like if you like it, or of course not uh, dislike if you didn't like it, because this is how it tells me what kind of videos I should put out. Peace.